And let me just check one more time. Welcome everyone. Oh, we are live. I see it on Facebook, baby. Perfect. We are live on Facebook. Welcome everyone. I am Rebecca Grace Arce. I'm really excited to see all of you here. And I'm pretty sure there will be more adding in as I speak. I just want to say good morning to everyone. And I really appreciate everyone coming together at our Healers Roundtable group. This was really, really just formed within a week. I have been meditating and receiving a lot of messages from my guides lately that this was very necessary for me to do to really just get everyone, all healers together and just really do uh a cleanse, you know, prepare, prepare, prepare ourselves for more transformation that is to come. And um, it's just been a blessing, you know, it's like I said, this was all formed within a week. And I just been really blown away just seeing the response from everybody and seeing the need and also hearing the same messages from other fellow healers that I've been reaching out to they've been getting the same message and they they were all very grateful and happy that I started forming this group for everyone to come together. And so just a little bit about myself, I'm Rebecca, my husband JB and I are dual dragons and we are both healers. We do neuromuscular therapy, we're wellness consultants. We deal with all modalities with our clients from Reiki, chakra aligning, um, cranial sacral. We do also regular trigger point therapy, acupressure, you name it. We are certified and trained in all modalities. We're also licensed through the state. And so our whole purpose as dual dragons is to help people with chronic pain, give them pain relief, give them another a way to figure out how to deal with the pain or how to get rid of that pain if it's mainly just energetic because a lot of our clients do come to us that they have seen everybody and anybody and still have not gotten results and that's because it's more of a spiritual or energetic blockage that is going on within their body and so we also we take care of all of that and so from dual dragons that formed because of my sister. Um, my sister was diagnosed two years ago with ovarian cancer. And we joined forces, JB and I, for my sister. And from there, we realized that we had a special gift as dual dragons. And then, like I said, now I'm forming the Healers Ground Table Group for the same purpose that I got that calling again. That's something we need more healing. You know, first it was for my sister, now it's for our community. So I'm just gonna check time. Okay, we're gonna, it's 7.05. I really wanna sit, I'm really um, um, time scheduled. So I'm gonna go ahead and just ask everyone to take a nice deep belly breath. Everyone just take a two more deep, Belly breaths. And as you as you come into that calmness, just stay there and just take this moment to listen to our root chakra. Focus on that root chakra, this beautiful bright red circle right at the groin area, the right of the pelvis, turning clockwise. And as you hear the sounds, I want you to imagine that beautiful red circle just growing even bigger and more vibrant each time.
like everyone to take another three deep belly breaths. Slowly come back to the screen. Welcome, everyone. Thank you, thank you for receiving that moment to just clear our root chakra. And again, like I said, thank you, everyone, for coming. I'm going to go to the next screen, just in case for those who missed our introduction. I'm Rebecca Arce, my husband, JB. Can you say hello, my husband? <laughs> hello, we are, everyone. We are Dual Dragons, and we are holistic wellness consultants, AKA, they call us the muscle whispers. We deal with pain. Um, we take away pain and we give results and that and we're here for more healing for everyone. And so we just worked on the root chakra, which is our very first chakra at the base of the spine. And a, a story I want to share of this root chakra is this one personally, I have been working on for a while. I noticed that my anxiety with COVID coming about started going up. My weight went up with it. And I was not happy because I was like, this is not okay. I had gained 35 pounds within two months. And so I knew something was wrong. And so I had to stop. COVID was a blessing for me to stop and listen. And as I stopped and listened, that's when I got the clear messages from my guides that I needed to ground and also bring a lot of grounding, not only for myself, but for everyone. And so with that, that happened back in, COVID began in March. May is when I started getting messages. June, I started my journey and I have lost the, those 35 pounds that I gained plus a little more. I've lost most of it. And I'm still continuing on that path to make, my sure, to make sure that I am grounded, not only for myself, but for everyone. So that's the lesson that I've received so far based on the root chakra. And so I think the clear message here right now is stop and listen to what your guides are telling you, what your body is telling you, and just take that action and take care of it. Because once you take care of it, then you can take care of others. Would you like to add anything to that, JB? We've been uh, blessed to seek Many, many different guidance from different healers. One of them that we've been uh, doing our best to be consistent is Tai Chi, where they mentioned as we do the movements of this wonderful movement meditation to really recognize that connection just by a simple little squat, a little bit closer to the ground, you could sense the chi of the energy flow. So along with that, and along with other amazing healers and for you who joined us today, if you haven't joined us in the round heel tables on Facebook group, we invite you to go join us there because we want you also to share your story and whatever gifts and techniques you use to help yourself ground and really cleanse and open up your root chakra. Yes. And so I'm going to share with you guys. So again, we're, it's all about grounding. And the question is, what are we doing to stay grounded during this chaotic time? You know, it's not just COVID, you know, it's 
politics. I'm not into politics, but it's there. It's in the environment. It's about equality. You know, people feeling that they're not being treated fairly. It's about identity. You know, who, how do we identify ourselves? You know, and it is also the message we're giving to everyone. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna do a quick shout out to Michael. He taught me something really valuable when he said responsibility. When you break the word apart, the ability to respond. And I'm kind of getting emotional on it because I realized that too many of us, even myself, we were just reacting, reacting to this chaos and not showing our ability to respond. And when he said that, it really hit me hard right here. I have not been responding the way I should as a human. So now to be have that ability, like I said, I formed this group within a week because I got that message loud and clear and taking that response ability. And here we are. This group has grown tremendously because there was a need. I saw the need within myself and there is a need within others. And we are all taking the ability now to respond. And for that, I'm grateful and it brings me joy. Anything you want to add, my dear, so I compose myself? <laughs> Definitely been an interesting journey as we land ourselves, as you land yourself, honoring who you are and ground. We'll be opening up the chat after our guest speaker, and we'll like to hear what is it that you're taking from this? and how you yourself are staying grounded. Maybe something, your story or your technique could help someone else watching this. And we really, like, kind of like she mentioned, this is kind of based off the Knights of the Round Table as they were designed or created to protect. We altered it, obviously, for us healers, the Round Table, help each other heal, help each other ground as for this first day. And so that we could continue our mission, our contribution. It's not about giving up what else you got going on. It's about right now, taking a moment as you take a deep breath, as we show you, share with these amazing speakers and their techniques and of course your story so that we can share and grow this community and really get healers on the same page to focus on self first before we spread ourselves thin and become not as effective as we could be as we focus our energy. Yes. So our next slide, I just want to take a moment. I'm just going to escape for a minute because I need to shorten this up. And say, okay. I just really want to take this moment just to talk a little bit of Patty. She is the AKA the candy coach. She has been my coach for the past two years for my holistic business. And she has been a huge contribution to my growing, to opening me up to my spiritual guides and really getting me started on what I need to do now. Um, her fa most famous saying is, what are you doing today or tomorrow? And that is another one that has always stuck to me. What am I doing today for tomorrow? And just really has given me this wonderful blueprint to be able to follow, to be able to be successful, 
and anything I put out there and to make sure that my message is clear and I'm being true to myself. More than anything, um, being true to myself, my message, authenticity, and whatever I put out there. And it's not only about what I'm contributing, but how can I have others contribute? And also taking that time not only to listen to myself, but also listen to others. You know, coaches really give us that ability not only to learn, but to listen. They, not to self-critique, but to kind of just look within and implement what you see. And I have a lot to thank Patty, and I am so honored that she was, she just jumped on and said, yes, so let me know how I could support you. I'm there for you. You know, when I started this, <laughs> this one week journey of beginning all this, she just stepped in and I am so grateful for her and many others. You, all, all my presenters that are coming on this week have one way or another been a vital part of my life. We've been very fortunate to find each other and the fact that there'd be moments while we work on clients where I might disconnect or she might disconnect or we're just overwhelmed by the type of energy that the client is dealing with. So it's phenomenal if you have someone, whether it's a coach, whether it's a significant other or a fellow healer, to really allow yourself to be grounded because she might just be, need the moment to disconnect so that she could reset, reset herself and same for myself. And we've been very fortunate to allow that to help us be aligned and both refocus our energy to be a true out of integrity connection. And there's times where she had to step away and I had to continue this most of the session myself and vice versa. It's almost like breathing as you're grounded. It's not just, oh, I got to feel this connection or I got to feel this certain energy or certain vibe. It's as we are energy to the, I guess, minute for a simplistic form. The energy is like vibration. This monitor and the heartbeat, it's up and down. It's not so much a consistent line. That's the sign of death or not really being connected. So as you breathe or as you ground, just recognize an energy flow with your breath. Recognize the connection when you're engaging with family, friends, a business opportunity, whatever it might be. Just breathe and you might not feel the connection. Then you could do a simple check. We go into ourselves, the way one of our processes that we do is we go into ourselves, we take a breath. We usually do sets of three breaths. The second one we hold. The third one we kind of use it as to kind of go back to neutral or center. And as we recognize the connection, okay, is this really our energy or is this our mindset, is this us or is this something we're recognizing within the client that's being brought up so that we could either bring it to them to address or for us to kind of remove without their awareness because they might not even know it's someone else's. And that's how we guide. And we've been very fortunate to be guided by Patty and her wonderful guides, her wonderful gifts and her messages that sometimes it might be just planting the seed, that message, <laughs> and it make no sense to me. A day later, a week later, a month later, it blossomed. As I took that moment to breathe, to ground myself, reconnect with my body, my heart, my emotions, and that message blossomed into a wonderful lesson or awareness. But then again, I only could speak for myself, and hopefully my message allows you to recognize the seeds that have been planted into you. Some seeds you might have to pull out and throw away because they're not meant for you. They might meant for you to replant for someone else. It's not bad nor good, it's just what is. And as it's coming to that time, we really want to hand over the mic or the attention to our wonderful friend and mentor, Ms. Patty Mays, the candid coach, as she shares her wonderful gifts and maybe a technique or her story with you.
Thank you so much. I am honored to be here and uh, really grateful that you have offered this opportunity to, uh, to gather the healers. And um, I, I feel privileged. And uh, I thank everyone for attending today who are here and those of you who are on the replay. I uh, ask you to reach out to Rebecca and JB and to all the other healers that are here, we're being asked to show up whole, full on with grace. And for now, I just wanna take a moment, take a deep belly breath and allow yourself to go inside and continue to honor these two amazing healers that have called us together today. Take another deep belly breath, allowing yourself to into your body, into your belly, lowering your shoulders, allowing your shoulders to relax as you fill your belly. Allowing yourself to take deeper breaths. Allowing yourself to take this next breath deep, breathe deeply into your belly, allowing the breath to go all the way down to the soles of your feet. And allowing that breath, holding, holding, allowing that breath to go all the way back up to the crown. Slowly releasing the breath. And again, deep belly breath, lowering your shoulders. Take a breath in all the way down to the soles of your feet, filling your whole body all the way up to your crown, holding, take a little more in and release the breath. And one more breath, taking the breath into your body, filling your whole body with this divine breath and releasing slowly and allow yourself to settle into your body. Present here today, taking in what serves you, releasing what no longer serves you. We have been blessed. Today is October 1st and it's also the full moon and it's also the beginning of this healing round table challenge for seven days. So what's been really amazing is that Rebecca aligned with seven days, seven chakras. Yesterday was her seventh day of creating this group. She went live without hesitation and she is now here offering us a, a opportunity to ground into who we really are. So I'll begin with the reading of the animals. We begin in the east going around the medicine wheel. We enter in the east springtime. The frog is asking you to cleanse. I had sage burning here, cleansing the energy, cleansing your field. Use the water, go into the water, go to the beach, go to a lake, go to a pond, go outside, turn the hose on and put water over your head and allow yourself to ground. Water is a very grounding element. Cleanse what no longer serves you. Then we go into the rabbit, allowing the fears to show up. Be afraid, get scared and know the difference between fear and danger. Know the difference between what are you afraid of? Ask yourself, what is scaring me right now? We can't do anything about tomorrow, but we sure can focus on what am I doing today? What am I doing to plan for tomorrow? Plan for the next thing. Set up expectations, sure, without attachments. Allowing yourself to go into the West. We move into the West where we bounce against the walls. We push and we pull. The West is harvest exactly where we are today in autumn. 
It is all about the ant. The ant is asking you to be patient, asking us to be patient. Things take time. When everything is aligned, things start to flow and come together like they're coming together for Rebecca. When she shows her vulnerability, her tears are cleansing all of this that no longer serves her so she could be present for something even greater than she can even imagine. And we are here to surround her, to surround yourself with this amazing energy that is called from within. Then we go into the north. The north is all about the raven, the magic and the mystery of the north. Hibernation, go inside and find that little juicy place, that delicious little moment that you remember as a child. Invite your child to be with you. Be in the magic and the mystery of life. Play, enjoy, go to the sparkle not to be distracted by the bling, the squirrel mindset, and go to the sparkle of what makes you happy, what makes you smile. Going into the center of the medicine wheel, the hub, where everything spokes out of, the center of the wheel, Prairie Dog is asking you to retreat, go back into the whole ground, into your root chakra, allowing the soles of your feet to touch mama earth, to be present with her, allowing yourself to go into the core of mother earth, releasing what no longer serves you there, burying it down in that hole, peeking out again. Is it time for me? No, nope. go back in, relax and rejuvenate. And then the universe is offering us an opportunity. This today is an opportunity for you to begin again. We have a blank shield. You are guided. You are protected. You are being guided by your inner source. Whatever that source is, whatever you call it, God, the divine, the universe. Allow that source to come from within your head and heart connected. Once you connect those two, it unlocks your core essence. And when your core essence is open, then you can listen to your own voice, your intuition. There are no doubts there. There are no inhibitions. There's no apprehension. It's all about being present from within, always knowing that you are being sourced for the greater good of all. That love from within ripples out when you are grounded, when you are rooted. And lastly, the focus for today is the swan. Surrender, surrender to grace. All of what Rebecca has brought forth here, all in grace and beauty. Allow yourself to just release yourself to no attachments and no expectations in the sense of oh, it's gotta be this way, allowing for glitches to take place and allowing yourself to be present to who you really, really, truly are. Take a deep belly breath. Deep belly breath into your body. The red carnelian. And also the smoky quartz. All of these wonderful crystals, if you're into crystals, use them, hold them, nirvana helps me ground when I gather. Use the tools that you have been given, use the tools. And if you don't know what they are, there's always Rebecca and JB, there's all the other healers here for you and you can always Google. So let's all take another deep belly breath as we wrap up here. Deep belly breath, releasing what no longer serves you. And now set an intention to move forward. What can I do today for tomorrow? Look at the silver lining in adversity, in chaos, for anything that is negative. Look for that silver lining. Look for the gift in that adversity. And allow yourself to be present with what is here now. What is here now? Reminding yourself, bring the past and the future here now. 
There's nothing you can do about what happened. It'll be with you for the rest of your life. There's nothing you can do with what's to come. You can plan today for tomorrow. And with that, thank you so much and blessings to all of you. Thank you, Rebecca and JB. Thank you so much, Patty. That was beautiful. That was like much needed. <laughs> much needed a guidance to just really kind of like really see like i said you always lay out that blueprint plan for me just to oh, okay now i know where i need to go next now i know i I'm, my head is clear i'm grounded you know and so that really is very helpful i hope it's helping everyone else here too um jb let's go ahead and unmute everyone we're just gonna really open it up now for open discussion. If anybody would like to share an experience from this or a past experience that has helped you evolve and any anything you would like to share or any questions you would like to ask from us. Okay, Samahi. Hello. Oh, great day, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Um, I'd like to share an experience that I had that helped me with my inner healing on the path that Michael and I are, where we help other people through meditation. I was dealing with things within myself still. And I, I love what, um, what you said, Rebecca, that as healers, we also need help from each other. And in my case, it was Patty that came to my rescue, if you will, because she used that um, Poppins, how do you say it, uh, Patty? The Maze Poppins perspective it, work. That works so well when you're when you're doing that inner breathing, and I don't want to give it away if no one has ever tried it, but um, okay. it's just an amazing feeling to be able to put yourself in a different perspective. And and Patty's method is to take you where you are, and she'll actually have you physically <clears throat> stand up and move to another area. In, in your room, wherever it is that you're working within yourself, and and to just sit in a different place and look at the different perspective, and that's exterior. But when she does it for you or guides you to do it within, in your mind, you go back as a child, <clears throat> then you go to another age, to another part of your essence of where you were and wherever maybe some of the trauma started in your life, and it's such a beautiful experience. That helped me when I was working with Michael and, and I wanted to be the best version of myself. But if I wasn't aware of where I needed the, the healing or the wholeness to come in, then it's not easy. You know, you, you go through roadblocks and challenges and you still do it because you love humanity, you love yourself, you want to serve, but it is so much better when you have that that grounding and knowing which way to actually take the next step based on that self-awareness. So that's how I was blessed with um, Patty's method. And, and now today listening to you, Rebecca, this is, to me, it touches my heart that you thought of all the healers that no one ever thinks about them, right? We're always helping everybody else, but we don't think about ourselves that we also need this connection with other people. So thank you, Rebecca. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, you, hit, you hit it on the nail. It's like we don't think about other healers and ourselves because we're so busy focused on everyone else. Like I need to help. It's like, every, you know, and that's what wore me thin at the beginning of when I started working as a healer. You know, before that I was um, a piano teacher. Uh, preschool and elementary school teacher assistant for many years, 25 years. And it was always calling me to help people, help people, help people. But at that time, I was not healthy. You know, I had almost passed away at 19 from severe fevers. And I was just in and out in the hospital, not knowing what was going on with my body. And it took from age 19 to 24 to finally say, 
I've had enough. I need to do something about it and started seeing a holistic doctor. From age 25 to 30, it took me that long to really cleanse my body out and become healthy again. And that's where my journey as a massage therapist came about because I saw what it did to me. I could feel everything. And my holistic doctors would be like, they would tell me like, the minute they would touch me, I would be like, oh my God, I can feel this, I can feel that. I would react in such a way and they're like, you know, you have the gift, you know that, right? And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, your sensations are beyond anyone's. You have the gift, you're meant to do this. And they were the ones that, talk, that said, look for that path because you're meant to do what we're doing to you because you get it. And, you, and we, we sometimes don't even have to tell you what's going on and you already know. <laughs> and so it was, it took them to, to open my, to open me to that perspective, like, oh, I didn't know I could do this for others. I've always been sick, you know, it's always been someone help me, someone help me. And now it's almost like that pay it forward. Like that message came in loud and clear one day from my guides, like, hey, we kept you here for a reason. Now get to work. <laughs> And I was like, okay, <laughs> I guess I got to get working on healing now. <laughs> so I'm, I've been paying it forward since then, you know, just helping countless people. And my path has taken me to dip many different roads and meeting so many people along the way. And in one of those paths, you know, I met, you know, my husband, my current husband, JB. I was just like blown away, you know, because when we met, it was just, it was the school sent him because I was renting out a room at my house. And I was like, okay, I wanted to rent it to a female because it's my daughter and I and my sister that live in the house. I didn't want a male in the house, but it was like, the school was like, he's a good guy, army veteran, very respectful, you know, give him an opportunity. He came and I remember <laughs> This is a joke that we have going on. And he walked in the house and he was just like, dum, 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 dum. I'm like, oh my goodness, I have a chihuahua now in the house. <laughs> it was just like this energy of a chihuahua. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know about this. <laughs> but I was like, I sat on it, thought about it. I'm like, okay. And I, t I went ahead and gave him the go. And oh my God, that was a blessing in disguise right there, let me tell you. <laughs> and so it's looking back at all those moments it it makes me realize how much I needed this for myself and for others you know and another experience I had was with a shaman healer um I think like five years ago he's a harmonic toner and I, at that time, I was at a fork at the road because I was still a teacher assistant more than five years ago. Yeah, no, five years ago, I'm, I'm correct. I was still a teacher assistant and doing my massage. And it was like, I went that day asking questions like, what am I supposed to focus on? And it was funny because I was sitting in the waiting room and I hear this beautiful sound sounded like that that african instrument the woo, 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 and you just feel this vibration and i'm like thinking like wow he's using a beautiful instrument i turn around it's him it's his mouth he's literally on top of the person with his mouth going woo, woo. and i'm like <gasps> and then he i, I kind of hear him telling the person what to do what supplements to take to help them so I'm expecting that kind of message. So as I lay there, he does this thing and I get up and I sit down and he just sits there and looks at me so like, and just smiles. And I'm like thinking in my head like, okay, tell me what to do. <laughs> and he's like, 
you're a healer, you know that, right? <laughs> and I was like, yes, I've been told. He's so all, you need to heal. You need to start healing others. The shamans are telling me that they've been trying to tell you this and you're not listening. <laughs> And I just started giggling and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it was just that moment of like, okay. And then from there on, it's just my focus has on, I stopped teaching piano. I, I quit my teaching job and I said, now I know it's like, and then, you know, like I said, and then two years, uh, two years ago is when I met JV and it's just been like, this path is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. bigger, bigger. <laughs> so enough talking about myself. Anybody else would like to share anything? Yes, any of our fellow guests, Ileana, Marlene, or Sterling, Thais, yes. or and, Thomas? Yes. Do you have anything to share, please? I'll, I'll share a little bit while somebody uh, shares. Um, one thing I do want to acknowledge is both of you whichever your background and story you came from, the unification of your stories together is powerful. And JB, I've met you a long, long time ago. I mean, I don't even know, like three or four years ago. Um, and Rebecca, I recently met you, but I mean, just in the little time that we've met, I mean, both of you are amazing souls. And I just want to acknowledge this time that you guys are showing up because it's not, I mean, it seems easy to come on this camera and do this, but a lot of people don't realize that you have to work through many fears because there's there's things that come up when we public speak, when we get on a camera and, and it feels like, you know, there's nobody behind the camera. And even to have the courage that you don't know who's gonna show up, but just to step into that. I mean, I just acknowledge both of you for stepping up and being that mirror and that reminder of what's possible because people feel alone right now. And you guys stepping up, you're putting that vibration into the world that they're not alone. And whether they hear your voice, but they feel your voice, they feel your message. And it's just powerful. And I want to just acknowledge both of you for stepping into your truth, stepping into your, your heart, because it takes courage to step into the heart and get out of your own way. So I just want to acknowledge both of you and acknowledge every single one of you for showing up today because you're showing up for the world. This is something revolutionary. This might seem like, oh yeah, we're getting on Facebook, we're getting on Zoom. You know, just like JP said, you might not feel the transformation today, but it is, it is moving, it is stirring inside of you. Your cells are being shooken up. So I'm even feeling it as I say it. So thank you so much. And, and you know, I'm a talker. I teach about silence. I remind about silence, but I don't look like a silent person. But let me just tell you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much from, from everyone that doesn't have a voice and feels like they don't have a voice. We speak for them. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else would like to share? I'm looking. Thomas, did you want to share something? I saw you pop in. <laughs> He's like, I'm good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> So I'm looking at the time right now, it's 7.47. I just wanna do, uh, go ahead and do a little quick ritual and continue talking just to give another moment. Today's October 1st and it just came to me right now. My sister and her partner and other family members right now are in Las Vegas. It's the celebration of I say celebration because for them it's a celebration that they're still alive you know and but at the same time it's bittersweet for them because they they got to see people pass away in front of their eyes in this the that horrible shooting that occurred in las vegas and i still remember that day they came home from that trip and then just the minute they walked in the house they broke down and it took me a whole week just to work on each one of my family members to help them process what they had experienced and seen. 
So I just want to take a moment for them. They're in Vegas right now, confronting their biggest fears. It takes a lot of courage to do that. Because when they left here, they said, make sure to sage for us. Make sure to pray for us because we don't want to do this, but we have to. So I'm going to light up. So at this time, if you have sage or oil or something to help you cleanse or a rock or a crystal or a medallion of some sort, just go ahead and bring it present. Kind of add a little energy from each other will contribute as one. Yeah. So I have my sage and I also have um, a beautiful friend of mine gave me all these um, Chinese tradition to honor the ones that have passed. When they go to the cemetery, they light these up and they leave, you know, fruit. So I always light these up whenever I want to remember people or anyone that has moved on to a better life. You know, it's not sad. It's horrible what happened to them, but they are in a better place. And so I just want to take this moment for them and also to do a clearing with our mantra for Oponopono. And I'm gonna have my husband say it. And when he says the line, if everyone could just echo him. And we could just say the mantra all together. As you take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Take a second breath. Inhale. Hold it. Listen to your heartbeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. A third inhale. Now let's begin. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive, Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Again, I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive, forgive me. me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Last time. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive, Please forgive me. me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I release you. I release you. I release you. I accept you. I accept you. Take a nice deep breath. And breathe out. Go ahead, shake it off. Get a little physical move. If you need to stand up and shake it off, stand up. Now, thank you so much for all those who joined us and being active participants. Again, another call, please join our Healers Roundtable on Facebook. We wanna hear your story, we wanna hear your gifts. And if you have a challenge, post it up so that you may receive wonderful advice and techniques so that you could address that and continue being an amazing person, spirit that you are, so that you can continue doing what you do best, contributing to that. Yes, definitely. Um take today to ground, you know, take that moment just to really experience grounding today. And if something comes up, like 
an aha or a, a message, feel free to share it on the rounds table page, you know, share it, you know, you might not realize that that message wasn't just only for you, but for others too, you know, and that's, that's the biggest uh, takeaway that I've gotten out of all this, you know, messages are not just only meant for me or for the person it's meant for everybody, you know, and so that's one thing I always tell all our clients when JB and I are working on them and we start telling them messages we're getting, I always, I always give them a little pat on the shoulder. I'm like, don't take this as me telling you what to do or, cause it, it's easy, it easily interpreted that way. Like these people are just telling me all these things. It's like that message is not just only for you. It's also for us. I'm learning from this. You know, and then it kind of just helps them to just relax and realize, oh, thank you for letting me know that, you know. So thank you again, everyone. Um, we will still stay on for anyone who would like to stick, stay on for a little longer and, you know, just have a still an open discussion. We will be uh, coming off live. We will be stopping recording soon. Yeah, and then, well, for the recording, thank you so much for all who have joined us live and for those who watch this, please share this with those you believe that could benefit. Remember to stay healthy and breathe intentionally. And we look forward to you joining us our next session. Tomorrow. So hope to see everyone tomorrow at 7 a.m. Yes, Michael? Okay. I wanted to shut up, but you know, when you're being guided to say something, I need to say something because not a coincidence of what you honor today and for anybody watching this, um, as weird or woohoo as this sounds, uh, I'm living testimony because I've been pronounced dead several times. And the message that I wanna give those that have lost anyone is that I realize that when I meditate, I go into that space that connects us with all eternal. Everyone is there, everyone is in our hearts. So if you feel like you've lost anyone, really die to that, that, that thought that you've lost them because you are creating that loss within yourself. Yeah. When you realize that you are eternal mm -hmm. and, and it, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So in conclusion, and, and thank you, Rebecca, because um, for your sister, for all of those that are, that are dealing with loss today and anybody who's dealing with loss because so much loss is happening right now is that I want to ask them to ask themselves a question. When they were alive, where did they feel them? Did they feel them in the head? Or did they feel them in the heart? So really, were they outside of them or were they always inside of them? They always are here. We never, ever lose or disconnect with one another here. Because we're so in our heads, we forget where we all are. So the more one opens up to their heart and lets go of the fear and, and, the, and the lack of separation of oneself, and that's when they become that they, they have that realization that they are there and they are guides like patty says like you said so well rebecca they are our guides as well and they have messages of, of wisdom and experience that they had and messages specifically for them so when you let go of the fear of thinking that death separates you from somebody that you know then you are thinking you're just physical but when you realize your vibrational energy, you are a soul, whatever you want to put that word to that, that energy that you are, then you realize that you didn't lose them. You are more closer to them now than you are in the physical. We have so much perspectives and so much things that separate us now in this physical world. But when you connect with your heart, you have the more closer, you have the more vividly in your heart. So just let go. And for your sister and all of those who have lost Trust me, I didn't believe this world existed until I died. I had to die to literally be shook, shooken up and say, this world is real. And it is real inside you. It is not something outside of you. It is within you. Just, just allow yourself to just feel. What do I feel right now? Thank you so much, Rebecca. Blessings to all of Anybody else would like to share? Patty? 
Thank you. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much. And uh, I really appreciate the two of you and all of you who stayed on with Rebecca and JB. There's always amazing uh, messages that come through. And like you say, you know, it ripples out to everyone. It's not just for ourselves. And uh, thank you, Michael, for that reminder that yes, uh, our guides are those who have crossed over are here. They never leave us. And at least they never have left me. They kind of hang around here a lot and trying to still telling me what to do and how to do it. Right. And uh, we get to choose the most important thing today uh, for myself when I'm taking away is I get to choose how I'm going to be today and how I'm going to uh, show up for those who are uh, needing some guidance and to let people know that they're not alone. So thank you so much for, for this honor, Rebecca and JB. Thank and for you. those on Facebook Live, thank you for joining us. We're about to end the live stream now. And maybe you can join us live on Zoom next time so you can be actively participating in the extended uh, open session. Take care.